Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create footer in Astro theme. So let's just begin. So I have already logged in into my WordPress site and I have already installed the Astro theme. But if you haven't installed the Astro theme on your WordPress site, you have to go into the appearance. You have to click on the themes. And here you will see all the installed theme on your WordPress. But if we haven't installed the Astro, so what you need to do, you have to click on the add new theme. And now you have to search for the Astro theme. So I have already installed the Astro theme, but if you haven't installed it, you will actually see uh, this kind of the buttons on the Astro theme, the install and the preview. And from here, you can simply install it and you can activate it. Okay, so now we will actually learn to create the footer uh, in our Astro theme. So you have to click on the Astro here, then you have to go to the dashboard. All right, so now in the dashboard, you can actually see the button here, the start customizing. You can actually click on this, but if you simply want to build the footer, you can actually click on this as well. But I will simply click on start customizing and we will have all the options here. Okay, uh, the header builder and the other things as well. So we have to go inside the footer builder. So as you can see here, the three layers in the footer. Okay, so the first one is actually the above footer and the second one is actually the primary footer and the third one on which we have the copyright text is actually the below footer. So it actually has the three layers and in the last layer we actually have the copyright widget. Alright, so now we will actually start creating our footer. So, so I will start with the copyright. So let's click on the copyright and now you can actually customize your uh, copyright text. Okay, so I would give it a gray color. Alright, so from here you can actually format your text okay so i can make it bold i can make it italic and you can also do the other uh, formatting things here you can align it from here you can increase the size of the font from here and you can also decrease it okay so you can actually insert or edit the links from here you can add the spatial characters horizontal line and you can also see the other options here as well okay uh, and you can even change the style of your text so by default it is actually the paragraph you can convert it into the heading and as you can see that we also have the other headings as well but we will stick with the paragraph for now okay so this is how you can simply edit the copyright widget here so i actually want to change the background color of this uh, layer or the raw so i would simply click on this button and now as you can see that we have the multiple options here the wordpress consider this layer as a raw and you can add the multiple columns as much as you want so the currently the raw in which we have the copyright actually has a single column you can actually add the multiple columns as you want but the max limit is the six columns okay so you can actually add the six columns and now you can see here we have the six columns here you can add the three you can add the two and one as well okay so this is how you can add or change the number of columns on your row and on the basis of number of columns you will get to see the different number of layouts here okay so as you can see here we have the three layouts here and in the three we would have the five and so on okay so i will actually stick with the single column right now we also have the other options here but we won't be getting into that for now so i can actually change the height of my row as you can see here i can increase the height i can decrease the height okay and i can just go back to the default value so right now we are back to the default value and if you want to make the vertical alignments okay you can actually use these values okay so now we're going to talk about the visibility so let's just say you don't want to have the copyright text on your laptop on the bigger screen so you would simply click on this button and it would disable the text from the laptop screen or the bigger screen all right but if you want to have it on your laptop on the bigger screen you would simply activate this again all right and same goes for the mobile size and the tablet size as well so if i just don't want to show the copyright text on my mobile i would simply deactivate this and if i go to the mobile view of the website so you won't see any copyright option here so if i just activate this again now you would see the text of copyright okay so this is how we can use the visibility options okay just go back to the bigger screen so now i will actually fill these two layers so i actually want to add a heading here okay all right so in the heading i already have the text okay so i have clicked on the text so i can actually add anything if i want to add so let's just remove this okay and i would again add service all right so this would actually add the text on our html 
so if i just want to change the format i will simply click on the heading 3 because it will look fine and i actually want to change the background color of the copyright so i would actually go into the design and you can also see that these options here border size the border color the background color and the column spacing and if you want to add the padding you can simply add the padding from here okay but right now i just want to change the background color so it would be the dark blue color and i will also like to change the text color here that would be the white all right so we are good here so let's just click on the html one and we have our heading here i would like to give it a dark blue color all right and i would also like to add the footer menu here so now you can see that i have added the footer menu so if i just want to change its uh, layout or the styling or anything i would just simply click on this and i would have all the options here so here i would actually click on the footer menu and in the footer menu we have the two menus here the primary and the primary two so in the primary two we actually have the multiple options but i just want to stick with the primary okay but if you want to edit the menu you can even edit the menu just by clicking on edit menu and you would see these options here and you can add the items and you can also reorder it from here all right and you can also delete if you want to delete it from here all right so this is how you can add the menu if you want to add all right so now in the last i would like to add a widget here so the widget is simply it could be anything it could be the text it could be the video it could be the avatar or it could be anything so i would simply click on the widget and i will actually remove this for now and i will add the widget again so we don't have anything right now so i will just simply click on this plus icon here all right and browse all okay so now you can see the multiple options here in the widget so you can add any option whichever you want to add here all right so you can explore this by your own self so i would just simply add the avatar here and now you can just simply see the avatar here and you can increase and decrease the size of your avatar okay and if you just want to change the alignment you would simply align to the left center or the right so i would just like to keep it in the center okay and you also have the other options you can explore it by your own and now in the first row or the first layer i would like to add another html and it would have the text something like that okay so if i just try to edit the text i will simply write on our social handles all right and you can also change uh, the format if you want to change but i want to keep it uh, like this but i want to decrease the font size to the 11 and we have the text color we have the font size and i can also add the margin here but we, i think we are good here with the html2 and i will also like to add here the social icons so how can you add the social icons that is pretty easy you just have to click on the social and it would actually add the social icons here but if you just want to edit these social icons you can simply click on this or you can also click on the social and if you want to add the other social icon you can simply click on the add social icon and you can also choose the social icon of the platform whichever you want so i want to add the social icon of the uh, by hands uh, dribble okay so this is how you can actually add the social icons if you want to add it but right now i will stick with the three social icons and you can also show the labels if you want to but it doesn't good look right now so i will simply disable this and you can make the alignment here and you can also uh, change the visibility if you want to according to the uh, screen size and in the design you can actually go with the official colors of the icons or you can also go with the custom colors so you can actually change the icon color here if you want to so if i just go on to go with the pink color okay so it is actually the pink okay so now you can see this this is how it actually works and all right so this is how you can actually add the icon color you can increase or decrease the size of your icon and you can also change the spacing between the icon and you can also change the radius of the icon you can add the margin so for the margin i can simply add some value here just to expand but if you want to give different values to the different size you will simply uh, click on this this would unlink all the values and you can simply give 
the different values in each of the portion here so i would simply delete all of the values right now and you can also change the unit of the values from here right now we are using the pixels you can also use the em or the percentage if you want to all right so this is how we can actually create the footer in astro theme okay so let me just publish this and let me just refresh our web page here and now you see the customized footer on our website all right so this is how we can actually create the footer in our wordpress website using the astro theme and this is all for this video if you really find this useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and bye bye